So I just finished making a prototype for a brand new game. It's called The Last Phoenix. Here's a super quick cut of the story. All right, so now please remember that this is just placeholder art because as a game developer, when you're making a prototype, you do, it's not about making it look great and having final art assets in it. It's about just trying to get the concept across and show people the gameplay, you know? So there's like a ton of sound effects missing and a ton of art missing and all that. But it's kind of, ju I'm, I just kind of want to get the concept out there to see if you guys are interested in me finishing this game. So on the surface is gonna be a caravan. That's kind of like your town. And there'll be a shopkeeper and dialogues with these characters as the story develops. But as you descend, the level is procedurally generated, which fits well for a roguelite where you'll need to restart levels and stuff like that. However, I do think uh, not everybody <laughs> likes losing their progress. So I'm gonna put an option in the game for people who don't want, who don't, who don't like the feeling of, of setback or, or whatever that uh, roguelites have. You know, I, I think I'm gonna make it possible to play this game as an RPG or roguelite which is pretty cool it's accessibility right there are abilities you can activate like this electro ball but the main weapon that you have is a fire gauntlet built from the phoenix feathers and you never run out of ammo with it and it's you can it's used for offense and stuff but also it helps you traverse the terrain by destroying blocks and when you jump you can shoot it at the ground to go higher so you can do stuff like rocket jump and stuff so the reason I'm calling it a roguelite is because when you die in this game, it's the only way you get access to your skill tree, which will have permanent upgrades for all future runs. So dying is actually kind of necessary to the game, and then you don't have to feel so bad about it. Morty's going to be doing the music and sound effects for the game. Check out some of his work. Another one. Morty's amazing. And I'm also working with artists and looking for artists. So if you're interested in working on this game with me, paid work, dude, then hit me up. If you're interested in giving me feedback on this project as it develops or sharing your pixel art, I'm building a community that you can join. Come on down to Sad Slime. Let me give you a quick look at the GDD, the game design document. So in here, I kind of have an estimated funding and uh, time uh, to develop the game. This is stuff that is meant for publishers to decide whether they're going to invest in the project or not, you know. I'm letting my Patreon supporters play this game first. I feel like I owe it to them. And it's also, my Patreon's also a place where you can like read my GDD and see, get a little behind the scenes of what it's like to be a struggling full-time indie game developer. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Dev Live.